Hello, everybody. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. This is Ms. Alvarez Munoz here with another lesson about some rhythms. This lesson is for kindergarten, first and second grade, week of March 30th through April 3rd. We were learning and relearning uh, some rhythms that we've done in class, and we put uh, food words to them last week. Hope you enjoyed. Um, there is more to come with this rhythm lesson. But before we do that, I want to sing a song. The song is called, The Cat Came Back. Old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave his home. He tried and he tried to give the cat away. He gave it to a man going far away. But the cat came back the very next day. Yes, the cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. He told him for to take it to the man on the moon. The balloon came down about 90 miles away. Where he is now, well, I dare not say. The cat came back the very next day. Yes, the cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. Have you ever had an animal follow you before? Maybe on the street? Or maybe a neighbor's dog? I've had. I'm like, I don't want it to follow me! Go home! Way across the ocean, they did send the cat at last. Vessel out a day and making water fast. People all began to pray, the boat began to toss. A great big gust of wind came by, and every soul was lost. But the cat came back the very next day. Yes, the cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. The cat came back the very next day. Yes, the cat came back. We thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just couldn't stay away. It's always a fun song. I like singing that one. It's so funny. This cat can't get rid of it. <laughs> Today we're going to re-look at some rhythms that we were talking about last time. We were learning about steady beats and how this is called ta, and then we have t t and then ta. These are what the notes are. If I were to give you a steady beat, could you say this rhythm out loud to my steady beat? Sounds like this. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Try it with me. Here we go. How'd you do? Could you try it with a steady beat? What if we clapped it this time? I'll do it too. Here I go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. I'm just clapping the steady beat. I'm not clapping the rhythm. 
But why don't you try clapping the rhythm with me? Here we go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. It's always important to know that T and T go quicker. Two of these for the price of one. We wanna make sure we make that quicker, especially when we learn a new rhythm, like these. Tiri, 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 tiri. These are four notes to one beat. Four of them go to one beat, so I say them fast, like this. Tiri, 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 tiri. What if I said two in a row like that? What would that sound like? Tiri, 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 tiri. You have to say them pretty quick because four of them happen within one beat. Let me read this rhythm to you. Tiri, tiri, ti, ti, tiri, tiri, ta. Can you try saying that rhythm with me? Here we go. Tiri, tiri, ti, ti, tiri, tiri, ta. Why don't we try clapping it? Remember, we keep one hand steady when we clap and we use the other hand to do the clapping for us. Can we try that? Clapping hands ready? One, two, ready, clap. Tiri, tiri, ti, ti, tiri, tiri, ta. Let's do that again. Ready, go. Tiri, tiri, ti, ti, tiri, tiri, ta. How fun, huh? Learning new rhythms is always so fun. I can't wait to do what's next. Animal rhythms. It's time to add some fun to some rhythms. Just like we did with food last week, let's learn about how we can add some animal words to our rhythms. Dog. Dog is just one syllable, so we can give it just one steady beat like this. Ta. Dog. We can do an entire rhythm with just that word. Dog. Dog, dog, dog. We can clap it too. Dog, 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 dog. Since we know that dog is ta, because it's just one syllable, one steady beat, we can say lots of rhythms with that word to substitute. Dog, 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 dog. Pretty fun, huh? Let's go to the next one. We can add, maybe we can try it back and forth. We can go dog, 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 ta, 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 ta. Pretty cool, huh? Or horse, also one syllable word, same thing. Horse, 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 horse. Try it with me. Horse, horse, horse. Horse. Ta, 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 ta. Let's see what's next. Chicken. Ti, ti. Two syllable word. Chicken. We know it's two syllables because it makes two sounds and our tongue moves two times when we say it. Chicken. Ti, ti. Chicken, 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 chicken. Try that with me again. Go. Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, let's try it again. Two, ready, go. Chicken, 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 chicken. T, 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 T. These words are the same rhythms as the rhythms we're learning right now. What's next? Monkey. T, T, monkey. We use two syllables for that word too, so we can put t t to it. T t t t t t t t monkey 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 monkey. T t t t t t t t. Just like that. Great. This is fun. Ooh, alligator, alligator. T r t r. Can you say that to a steady beat? Alligator, tiri tiri, alligator, tiri tiri. So how many syllables would alligator have? Alligator, alligator. Four syllables, our mouth and tongue move four times to say the whole word alligator. That's right. Alligator, 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 alligator. 
Can you say it like that with me? One, two, ready, go. Alligator, 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 alligator. Tiri, 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 tiri. Isn't that awesome? We can put these words, we can put tons of words to these rhythms. How cool. Ooh, here's another one. Armadillo. Have you ever seen an armadillo before? I've never seen one. They look really cool though. They look like a mix between a couple animals and that hard shell. How interesting. God creates us in such special ways. Tiri tiri. Armadillo. Armadillo. Armadillo, 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 armadillo. How fun. I'm having a hard time saying that. That word's a little tricky. I think it's all the L's. Armadillo, 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 armadillo. Tiri, 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 tiri. How fun is that one? So we can mix and match. We can say the words of the animals or we can say the rhythms. Let's try it. Dog, dog, monkey, dog. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. How fun. Maybe we can do dog, horse, alligator, armadillo. Let's try and say that one. Two, ready, go. Dog, horse, armadillo. Yeah, isn't that fun? Let's try it again. Dog, horse, armadillo, alligator. Isn't that fun? We can just put all of those together. We can figure out which rhythm we want to say and with which word we want to put it with. You can take this time at home, if you have a piece of paper, if you have something to write on, to fit four of our animals into one measure. In music, we divide things up by measure and we put only four beats at a time. So I can maybe put four ta's, ta, 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 or I could draw four teary teary's. Oh, that's a lot of teary teary's. Teary 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 teary. You can take the time to do that at home to practice your rhythms. And this is how you would do it. You can create your own four beat measure box with a piece of paper, or you can create one, maybe you can draw it on your iPad, or you can draw it on um, a painting app or something, whatever you have. You can choose your own animals to match syllables of ta, T T and Tiri Tiri. As an example, you could use cat, like in the cat came back the very next day. Yes, the ta, the cat, that's one syllable. Tiger, tiger, that would be T T. Yeah, you could do tons of stuff like that. Crocodile, wonder what that rhythm would be. Tiri Tiri, crocodile. You can draw them into a box, but remember only put four animals in the box. Don't put more than four and don't put more than four rhythms on there too. And you can do this online where you can get pictures just like I did on this slide where you can just put the pictures there or you can draw them on a piece of paper. You can take a picture of your work or send it to me however you'd like to, but you do not need to turn anything in. This is just something that I would like for you to try at home to participate in so that you can keep up your music learning. If you wanna share it with me, you most certainly can. You can make a video of yourself speaking the rhythms or clapping them. You can show me your drawings. I would love to see your work. That would be awesome. Well, that's all I have for this quick video on us learning about some fun animal rhythms. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I hope you remembered something from this. Maybe you remember what we were learning about in music class. I hope you have a great day. More videos are coming. Okay, bye.